Welcome to Appalachian Bonsai. Sorry it's been so long. It's still going to be a while before I get some more videos out, but wanted to, to see if I can get this tree filmed while I had just a moment of time. Uh, Virginia Tech, of course, is locked down with the coronavirus, so we're having to teach online. So I'm recording all my lessons instead of recording bonsai trees. Anyhow, this is a mugo pine. Um, this was given to me by Kathy Walton, and I'm going to be doing some redesign work on this. It might be hard to see, but this large rock right here is kind of in the way of this main branch, which you might be able to see right there. So what I'm going to do, hush, rocky, rocky hush. I'm going to remove that. You can see right here that big large void. So the, the main root base is all just right here. So this will be repotted too. Um, but there's this main branch on this side. It's very, very low. It's a nice, it's a really nice branch. Uh, by itself, but I don't like where it's positioned on this tree. Uh, I would like to remove this. I'm going to remove this. And in doing so, I'm going to create a gin. Um, but also because I'm doing that, it means that this is going to be a little lopsided, a little uh, heavy on this side of the tree and then lighter on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition this somewhere like that and rewire the branches down. Um, hopefully that'll give us a really nice uh, looking tree with this removed which I think will make it better in the future I have a drawing of that that I'll share with you and then we will uh, be able to, to see this tree in future videos So we went ahead and got this squared away here. Uh, the tree actually looks pretty good. I do have a dead branch up here, which is about to be uh, stripped clean. So that way we can see what this looks like uh, in relation to the rest of the tree. Now that that branch is gone though, we have uh, oh, definitely yeah. more space to work with in here. There are some branches on this backside that are kind of running parallel to each other. So this one needs to be moved outward. Uh, I'm gonna try to work that without breaking it. Um, it is an older branch. Uh, so we'll do the best I can. Thankfully, it's a mugo, it's a pine. It, uh, it does bend, it is pretty flexible. Um, some of these branches aren't doing so well, so I'm gonna try to clean these up by pruning this one back. Uh, I'm also going to try to look at these right here. This branch right here is dead, so I'll strip that off some and then see what else we got. So this is a little weird right here, these two spires. Uh, I kind of like the way this curves around, but it's not matching together. They're kind of splaying out. Um, so I'm gonna look at that for a minute and then probably just take that off, minute over. Maybe I can try that with some pliers and not do too much damage on the tree itself. There we go, that worked.
So there's plenty of work left uh, to do on this tree, but I am out of time for today to be able to work on this. I'm gonna come back again tomorrow. Hopefully the weather is good. If not, um, I may just keep working, but we'll see. Change of plans, folks. I'm gonna make a big adjustment. So looking at this tree, it's a nice, beautiful Mugo. I'm trying to think in my head about how I want to see this tree in the future. And so I'm looking at all the different lines. I have three main ones. I have this one here, I have this one here, and I have this one back here. Uh, so I've been deciding whether or not, uh, like deciding which branches to take off or take, you know, leave on. And this branch back here has got a couple of things going on. What I don't like is that this is basically in the same plane as this, which will adjust whenever I lift it up, right? But even with lifting this up, let me put this block underneath. Even with lifting, lifting this up some, it's not perfectly. I mean, there's nothing perfect, but it's still got some problems. I can lift it up more extremely and still has some problems, especially with this uh, top line here coming up. If I look at it this way, I've got this branch coming in this direction, and then I have this top in this direction. You might get a better view from there. Right, this one here and this one here are parallel with each other, which I could adjust by going up or down. But if these are coming down for this position and this goes up, then there's a lot of space that's happening right in here that I don't like. And if I bring it down, it's gonna be even more weird with this branch, right? Because this branch is kind of coming up a little bit. This branch will be kind of coming down and they kind of meet together and I don't like that. Here's another problem. This trunk line is pretty much straight all the way through. And it's not just straight from this angle that you see here. It's pretty straight from that angle there. Pretty straight from this angle there. Uh, not very attractive. It's got a little movement here Granted, you know, like maybe I cut this off uh, and leave this as a different separate branch, which I'm gonna try. Uh, or I might take the, the whole thing down to, to a gin and just restyle this to be like that. Something say, You might not see that. Something more like this. Uh, these branches coming down and around here. These branches coming down here. I might leave this back section uh, just to see what that looks like. Um, if that turns out to be good, great. If not, then I'll just take it down to Jen. But I am gonna remove this top. And I might remove it completely. The uh, this little branch right here is really kind of interesting. It's got some nice curves, a nice taper coming all the way through the top. This one right here is still gonna be straight as an arrow. Um, and I might be able to, I'm going to leave a section, carve it up and see what it looks like. But um, I think this change in direction here and back up again, is gonna be a nicer line for my gym. So I'm gonna do that.